Hey YouTube, we're back with another video. So as you saw there at the beginning, I made some cool uh, planter boxes, flower pots, things, whatever the heck you want to call them. So now I'm going to show you how we did it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rip, I'm going to rip these boards down just a little bit, just clean up this edge on them. If you have a joiner, that would be perfect for this progress, but I don't have one. So um, that's what we're going to do. So I got the blade set up right now. We're gonna get the fence set up and I'm just gonna start ripping this pile I have here. We got more fence pickets there. Now the reason I'm going with just regular treated pickets is because the porch, which I'll show you right here. There you go. Those are not cedar. They are just regular treated fence or treated lumber and they stained them that color. So I do gotta figure out what color stain that is. But uh, so that's why I'm using this because I want these to match the front porch. They're gonna basically be the opposite of my columns. So my columns start out skinny and they get wider as they go down, the pot's gonna be skinny and get wider as they go up. Hopefully it'll work, I don't know, but let's get these boards ripped. I don't know if you can see this huge cup in it right here. The board is really thick here, really skinny here, and back to thick. So this board is just going to get put to the side. It might not get used at all. I don't know yet. So what I need to find here, actually, we'll try it. So what I got is I marked out my lines right here. This should be about an eight degree, eight and a half. I don't like having to go like this, but let's see if this is a eight, my square was right. That looks pretty good right there. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and um, I'm gonna cut my top one. Now the reason, uh, I'll show you dude. I kinda got this figured out, I think. So my wife wants them on each side of the door. So right now I got my top one is gonna be 18 inches wide. We're going to trim out the corners so with that three quarter inch material I'm going to put around the edges of it. Be another inch and a half, put me at 19 and a half inches. And I need, I got room for 20. So that's why we're going 18 and a half on here. So let me start hacking these up and see if we can get something accomplished. Ah, right, folks. So I got everything one side cut. And the reason I'm doing this first is I just want to make sure that when I trimmed that a little bit off the edges of them, I didn't throw off my lines any for my angles here. So we're just gonna set them back up like this. All my lines actually look pretty good. Just need to draw a line on this one here. And then um, we'll be good to cut those. So let me get that marked out. Take a good pencil here. Normally for like the table I'm building, any kind of woodworking like that, I like to use a mechanical pencil because it gets you a little more accurate of a line, but for something like this, this rough lumber, this regular pencil works just fine. So that's what we're going for right there. So now let's get all these hacked up and we'll be back. All right guys, so now I got them all cut to size and they actually do look Decent. Some of these boards are kind of rough, but our, our porch is good. The posts are literally just like this. So now what I got to do is do this exact setup right here seven more times. So I guess it's time to just get busy. I'll set the camera up for y'all. I'll fast forward this whole process so you don't get bored to death and end up turning the channel off and not finishing the video because you don't finish it, you're not going to see how I made this awesome fire pot. So we'll be back.
All right, you saw that big long process of cutting, cutting, cutting some more. But um, now we got we got eight of each piece. We do you know four sides times two? So I got them in uh, stacks right now, like you just saw there in the video. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut the pieces for my um, for trim, my corners, my side pieces. And uh, what I'm gonna use for that is find it here. I'll show y'all. Got so much of wood and lumber and stuff everywhere. But there we go. I got it. I got it. Oh, excuse me. Two pieces of cypress. Um they are a little wobble. It's okay. I got this piece and I got that piece over there. Uh, I'm gonna rip these down to three-quarter inch wide strips. And we will use a push stick for this. We ain't gonna play completely crazy. I know some of you people probably think I'm nuts with my saw like this, but it is what it is. Actually, I have all the pieces to the saw, the guard and everything, but when I put my cross cut sled on, you gotta take all that stuff back off, and it's just, it's easier to just do it this way. Just be smart and keep your hands out of the way. But anyways, I know it's not promoting safety. Um, yeah, my stick even says safety first. But anyhow, uh, yeah, let's get the camera set up. Probably just gonna rip this whole piece up, maybe both of those pieces, I don't know yet. That way we'll have plenty of trim already cut and you know it'll all be the same thickness because we're gonna do them all at once. Alright folks, I'm back. Now let me tell you a little secret here. And if you're a smart person, you might have already known this. So I kept my miter saw at the exact same angle I cut all these, all 32 of these boards at. Now I can take my trim pieces and make that same. It's about a seven, seven and a half degree cut. And when I set it up here, it's gonna be perfect with that. Now, one thing we are doing, like I said, my wife wants these to be 25 inches tall. So now we gotta come down 25 inches, make a mark, and we'll do the opposite cut of that. So that way our leg is sitting straight, or sitting flat, that makes sense to you. So, let me mark one out for you. Kind of give you an idea of what we're going after here. And like I said, these are going to have a false bottom in them. These are actually only going to be probably about, I don't know, maybe a foot deep, I guess. So right there's our 25. That's where we want our bottom line at. So realistically, it'll probably be about somewhere, somewhere about right in here. I'd say it's probably close to a foot. So we got to mark 12 to 12 and 3 16. So that was really close. But this way, We'll put a false bottom in it at 12 inches. This way you don't have to fill this whole pot full of dirt because it's going to be a lot of damn dirt. You just set your whole flower pot down in there and you're done with it. So let me get started cutting these now and we'll be back. All right, folks, I'm back. Still trying to wing this, honestly. Getting kind of... Just trying to figure it out, I guess. So I have a plan. But sometimes plans don't always work. What we're going to do though is we'll try to build these in sections. So instead of doing the trim pieces first, the plan here is just to hold these in place, shoot a little 18 gauge nail in it, and then we can trim the whole piece out once it's done. Basically, just make tiers of it. I don't know. Let's see what this does though. This part here, it's not going to be structurally, I guess that's the word, structurally strong. And now, shit, I just realized by doing this, I'm not making it square unless I stagger all my pieces, something like this, to make the boxes, which I guess that would work. I mean, in the end, it's all going to be trimmed out and you're not going to see it anyways, so. Pretty square like that. That's not bad. So I don't know. Let's try it that way, I guess. So let's set this one up or turn this one, I guess. Press a little daddy dab. It's a good old tight bond. The green bottle, tight bond three. Now this board has to go uh, glue on the table. This ain't going good. This board though has got to go on the outside of this one, I think. Yeah, 
Here comes one of the kids. Who is that? Who are you? Uh, your favorite. My favorite. This girl's silly. She thinks I got favorites, everybody. Yes, uh, you can shut the windows. Yeah, but um, it's obvious I'm your favorite. Why? It's obvious I'm yeah. your favorite because you have two pictures of me in your garage. It's just because we ain't got the garage finished yet. We went to build a shed, girl. And then your pictures will go in the shed. Uh, I'm just joking. Close the door, close the windows. It's fine. I think this might do it. Is it right? Probably not. But, do I know somebody out there on YouTube will let me know this isn't right? Absolutely. So there we go. Let's build another one of these. This is our top ring. So we'll very gently set it down over here because I only used um, one inch brad nails for that. 18 gauge, so it's not like we went, um, I'm gonna go ahead. together. Let's see what we got here now. Kind of just what we were after, I think. So, that's basically what we're going for right there. That'll work. Obviously, I don't got them all lined up perfect yet, but thinking something like that and then our piece of trim goes on now honestly these are going to be feet sticking up on it because i don't know just wanted them 25 inches tall the way they sit right here 22 i kind of like the look of them better like that better than i do putting feet on them we might just rock with them like that right there i think that's what we're going to do so what i'm going to do we get the uh Let's get the level out, I guess. We could use any straight edge for this. Oops. Get them all lined up good. Exactly where we need them. I don't know why it's going. It feels like it's catching on something. It might be. This is just treated lumber, you know, ain't nothing. Nothing special here. There we go. Thanks a lot better. Now let's try to get this one up. And last one up. That'll do. So now, like I said, we're going to cut these pieces at our, uh, our correct angle we needed. So let's line one up here. Alright folks, I think I got it figured out. I got one piece on. Kinda of a little difficult. I gotta get the box lined up as I'm doing it. But uh it's working I guess. Sometimes it's easier to just shut the camera off and think for a second about what the heck you're doing, I guess. So this part was kind of difficult because the whole box wants to move on me, which is not good at all. Now I need to put the daggone clamp on here. Let's see if I can get the clamp back on it. I'm a little crazy with the clamp. Because my top box here needs to come over a little bit once I get some nails shot into it. Let's see what I can do here. Am I even shooting nails? Yeah, I got a few. Wouldn't that suck? Alright, now we're up to this one. Let's go over. God almighty. I'm going to put the big clamp on this one. Give me 
we'll see here. So that part didn't side down I guess. Now I'm going to go ahead and do, I think this time, since we're getting somewhere, like, like this, you can see I got, I don't know how my boxes got thrown off just a little bit, but we can clamp them and pull them down tight. And now we'll just take another one, make sure this is our, this is the one I cut the angle on, to go on the bottom, pull it up to the top. I hope that'll clamp down. I don't understand why it's so out of whack right there like that. Let's see here. Make sure not to mess this up. I made it this far already. Something. Something came out of line here. And I don't know what. But this middle box is sticking out. You can see it right here. I'm sure it's sticking out maybe a 316th of an inch, which not gonna work, it's not what we want, so yeah, we're gonna figure something out for that, but we'll get there. And I still haven't got nothing to drink yet, like I told you, I was gonna do a lot of tea. There we go. I really just don't want to walk in the house because then uh, I almost get bombarded with questions from kids fighting over the TV and whatnot. But let's figure this out. So. Alright, I am getting something to drink this time. I'm gonna get this figured out. We'll be back. Holy moly, folks. I'm getting somewhere, but I don't know where. This is gonna be a little more challenging than I was planning on it to be. But we'll get it there. So I got all the corner pieces on. Now what I gotta do is try. I don't know. I'm not the best at this kind of stuff. But now I need to do the bottom and then make the top look pretty on it. So, turn the camera here. You can just follow me and see my craziness going on. I'm sure, positively sure, there's a way to do this a heck of a lot easier than what I'm doing. But, I don't know. See if we can get this first one to be good. That'd be awesome. Hey! Little kick back there. All right. Turn you all back around. Sorry, I'm not a professional filming crew here. Son of a biscuit. Look at this, guys. That's not a bad fit right there. So we're gonna go ahead and nail that one in. Or I should be smart. See if it fits in all of them. Not even close on that side. Not close on that side. Will I get lucky and it fit on the other side? Probably not. If it's wood glue off. Oh, I got wood glue running everywhere. Does it fit in this side? That's a little too tight. But at least now we know where the heck we're going. Boy, I got glue. All right, guys, we're back. And yes, I did get something to drink finally. So now we got all the top in. Now we gotta do the top cap on it, which I wanted to use this, but I don't want it since I'm gonna overhang on it. I want a little bit of an overhang here. So what I'm thinking, since we get all these pieces out of my way, since we, uh, Shoot. Can't think. I'm just gonna use pencil paper boards. Obviously, we're gonna have to rip them down a little bit because we don't want that much of it. It looks stupid. So let's pull a measurement here and see what we got. Right now we're an inch and a quarter. I think we go inch and three quarter. Let's rip these down to inch and three quarters, do our top cap. Should look nice. So that being said, you know what's gotta happen. I got to 
Move everything. And check this out, folks. I forgot my false bottom. So we gotta do that too. We gotta put something in there to uh, hold those in place. Cause we don't want, and I might do the false bottoms later because it's still early in the year for flowers and whatnot. And um, I don't know, we're gonna get some one of those big ass pots that's already done and just go with it. So we might do the false bottom later that way to make sure I put it in the right spot. But now for the time being, I'm gonna rip this one down. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Got getting one of the good ones out. I don't think I do. Or not a good one, but you know, I'm, I got them all, so I might as well, might as well use them. But that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to start ripping this stuff down. builds I've ever done. I'm not really sure if I rushed it. Maybe if I had some plans, huh? That might have made it work a little better. But I don't have plans. 99% of the time I don't have plans, so I just kind of build to build. But um I guess what I'll do is like I said I gotta clean this little nub up right here. That looks like doo-doo all them joints right there but let me get that cleaned up and then Got some 45s on that, and we'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I did a 45 miter on this first one. Well, I'm trying to put it where y'all can see it. I hope. I'm just gonna line my 45s up with the inside of the box. And just hope and pray how bad does that look. Not great, huh? These are kind of short. But, oh well. Let's go ahead and mark this one. Let's see what we come up with, I guess. Right there's what we need. And I got you all in the way here. Let's see if we can set the camera right here. Might be able to put it right back here. You guys will get an up close action. A miter saw. There we go. I don't know. Where did my line go? There it goes. Alright. Let's crank this baby all the way around. Five. Lock in place. See what that'll do. Get you back here. Sorry about the horrible ass camera work. It's just the way it goes sometimes. But I think something just like that maybe. We'll get my other piece here. Sometimes I like to cheat. I'll take another 45, set it up there, and just see what we're going to have. Because you never know. It might be off. But it's not. That'll work just fine right there. Might as well go ahead and mark that one. Cut that 45 too. So this one is good. Let's do a little mark on it. I'm sure there's better ways to do this, and if you was really smart, you could probably measure them out. But I don't know how to do all that. I do, but <laughs> I know how to do it. I just don't want to do it. Because I find this way to be better. For me, but all right, I'm gonna get all these cut. We'll be back. All right, folks, there's number one built, still needs to be stained. Before I stain it, I got all them scraps over there that we're going to uh, test some colors on, see how close I can get it to our columns. But so I put a false bottom in it, like I said, we're gonna wait and do that. So it didn't turn out too bad, I don't think. I think it'll work good, fill in the nail holes on it, probably. And then uh, now we gotta assemble this one. 
So I'm not gonna film all the assembly of that one because you guys just, if you made it this far in the video, you've already seen it on this one, but I think that looks nice. That'll work just fine. So once you see them again, we'll, um, we'll have stain on them and have them sitting on the front porch. <clears throat> all right guys, we're back. Day two, the flower pots here. I picked out the two stains I already had. I got a walnut gel stain and a hickory gel, gel stain. Let's see if we can see which one's closest to matching in here. Let's see what we got. I don't know if either one of them is going to match, but we'll try. I hope they do. I got a cabinet full of stains, but most of them are, um, most of them are men wax. This one might not even be any good. Who knows? Ooh, yeah, that's some gel stain for sure. Just gonna put a dab of it on here and then go test them up by our columns. This one might actually work. I didn't sand these down because, you'll see in a minute, my columns aren't sanded either. So, trying to get as close as I can to matching them. There's that one. And let's see what this one does. I think this thing is thick. I think these are the stains I bought when I done my, um, the faux painting on my interior door to the garage at the old house. I think that's what these were for. I don't know. I've done quite a bit of stuff, so. Ooh, this one's got some weird stuff going on with it. I like the way this one lays down, man. This might be the one. front porch and we'll see which one matches here all right folks we're at the front porch here's one of the columns I'm trying to match the columns are all the same so are the shutters like I said this is just uh it's not sanded at all this is very rough so here's my two samples yeah oh thank you this was kind of the columns kind of got more of a gold to it than the brown this one's definitely a no-go that one's pretty close, but I think it's got more brown than gold. Let's see what it looks like on the door. Because the door is painted also, it's not wood. It's way too dark for that door. But I think, because they're going right here, it's not bad. I think this is the one right here, guys. So, now we get to go stain some... Uh, some posts or uh, <laughs> posts, some flower pots. That'll be fun. Ooh, got cold out today. So, this will be digging some holes for some big trees we're getting coming in on Monday. But it is muddy. I don't know if I'm gonna get these kids out here to dig. Probably not in this weather. But, oh well. Now I'm going to, uh, I do gotta fill some nail holes on these pots. I'll show them now. So, the one on the right, it's got some, I used 16 gauge on that one. Got a little smarter building the second one. It went a lot quicker and easier. But, um, yeah, so I got to fill some nail holes on one of them and then we'll start staining them. All right, guys, we're back on the flower pot build. They're all done. You're going to laugh at them because these pots are a lot bigger than what I thought they was going to turn out to be. But um, we ended up putting one by the front door and one over here in the corner by the garage. These pots of flowers we just bought, so... Sun is horribly bright. Right now, the fire, they're going to bloom out and get a lot bigger and everything and fill in. But uh, so that's what they look like now. We're going to put one right here in the corner. I think it looks nice. You just set the pot down in it. I got the, uh, the bottom built in it that can come out. But yeah, I think that'll work just fine. And once, the, like I said, once the flowers start growing out, um, it'll look a lot fuller. And then the other one we put up here on the front porch. Right there. Same thing, it'll fill in and look nice, so 
that's it thanks for watching subscribe hit that thumbs up button and get out there and build your wife some flower pots but uh don't go as big as mine see y'all later